My name is Helen Bevan and I'm supporting Stop the Pressure. 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 My name's Charlotte Johnston and I'm supporting Stop the Pressure. Um, if someone said to me they hadn't heard of Stop the Pressure, I would tell them that it's about um, preventing and eliminating pressure ulcers. Um, it'd be about making people more aware of what contributes to a pressure ulcer. Being involved in a campaign gives me the opportunity to teach other people about issues which are affecting our everyday practice and how we can improve things for patients now and also in the future. If there's one thing I could tell someone in the audience to do today, it would be to tell someone that doesn't know about Stop the Pressure. I think Stop the Pressure is so inspiring because it, it involves such little changes that you can do and it's not just like it's not a big massive change that you have to do, it's something simple as making sure people turn patients to the right number of times and make sure you're on top of nutrition. People involved in Stop the Pressure is kind of you use a lot through social media, a lot through word of mouth, you kind of talk about it. I think there's something important about not being very bossy and being like, oh you should all be doing this because otherwise you kind of open up a whole other barrage of issues but actually saying to people like, oh, have you heard about this campaign? And once you start opening up, people can go look up themselves. I think that, like, I think passion is really prevalent throughout Stop the Pressure. I think it's pas like, passion is important throughout the whole of nursing, but particularly in this campaign, it's what drives the whole thing. So the best thing I've been, like, achieved out of Stop the Pressure is meeting so many different, inspiring individuals and actually re-energising me about what nursing is about, reminding me of why we're so passionate about different things and being able to take things from other people. I think that's so important in nursing that you learn from others. I think it's giving information to other people and taking it as well. I think it's really, like, it's amazing to be around people who are doing such inspiring things. I've never been involved in a campaign before, um, but with my first placement, um, the amount of um, care that was given, the holistic care and um, different type of care that was delivered to my patients was very different to what I then um, experienced in a ward setting. So it's very important for me to take my experiences from my first placement, which was very much about preventing pressure ulcers, um, to a placement where, you know, it, it was um, people were on the ward for quite a while because it was lots of operations, um, and there was a potential for pressure areas. So we had to kind of minimise those. It's everybody's responsibility, no matter what profession you're in. Within healthcare, it is your responsibility. So let's minimise this and stop the pressure. I first heard about Stop the Pressure on my first placement. I had the most wonderful mentor and she was really passionate about preventing pressure roots. So she drummed and uh, stopped the pressure into me. Before then I didn't know that you could prevent pressure ulcers and I'd had um, a bad experience as a healthcare assistant with um, a grade 4 pressure ulcer and all of a sudden it was like turning on a light bulb for me. It was we can prevent this, that doesn't have to happen, that had to happen and we could have prevented that, you know. Why has no one told me this before? Why have I been working for four years and never known about this? Why, you know, this is brilliant, this is the best thing that's, you know, that I've ever seen. Um, and I, I, it sort of went from there and she taught me how to prevent pressure ulcers and she taught me how important it was and then to see the then NHS Midlands and East's ambition to eliminate all grade 2, 3 and 4 pressure ulcers, I thought, wow, where has this been? You know, like, I need to be involved in this. I need to do something about this. For me, this is all about creating that bottom-up movement, um, that grassroots movement for change. We might just be students, but we, we play a part too. Um, we've got top-down approaches, we've got some fantastic initiatives and ideas that are coming from the top down, so we need to make that happen from the bottom up and then hopefully the people in the middle, they won't have a choice.